Okay, so the next question that I have here is, I want to become an aerospace engineer, from George. I want to become an aerospace engineer, and I am sure of it. Should I really take mechanical and then specialize in aerospace engineering? I want to become an aerospace engineer, and I am sure of it. Okay, so you're sure about aerospace engineering, and it says, should I take mechanical and then specialize in aerospace engineering? So I think this is a good question, and the one thing that I want to mention here with you guys is that a lot of the times uh, when, when you want to become an aerospace engineer, which is something that I actually wanted to do at some point when I was majoring in mechanical, is that you have two options to be in aerospace or at least to work in the aerospace industry doing aerospace design, structural analysis, aerodynamics, stuff like that. You can, if you were 100% sure that you want to do aerospace engineering, uh, and also if you have your citizenship here in the United States, then aerospace, straight up aerospace, I think it's going to be a good option, the best option. If you know exactly what you want to do, boom. Another thing is that if you're not so sure, but you're kind of, you have this pro pro proclivity to go towards aerospace, but you're not really sure. You have, you think that you want to go for it, like you're deep down, you kind of, you want to do it, but then if you're not sure, then I suggest that if you're not sure 100%, you should go with mechanical. And then during the last two years of your mechanical engineering degree, then you can go ahead and focus on that. Truth be told, I actually had an aerospace engineering senior design project. I interviewed with Pratt & Whitney, I interviewed with Boeing, and I interviewed also with GE Aviation. Bombed all the interviews, did not get hired, but the fact that I got their attention and the fact that I was able to get those interviews and my resume was quote unquote polished enough, it provided and displayed all the right skills per se, I just bombed the interviews. Uh, it just goes to show that you can be a mechanical engineering major if you're not so sure about engineering and then later on take some classes, get some projects that are aerospace related so that way you can go more towards aerospace. Uh, also, another thing that I want to mention here quickly is that if you don't have your citizenship, if you're not a citizen of the United States and, and you are in the United States, I think it's very important for all aerospace engineers to know that or aerospace engineering students, if you don't have your citizenship, perhaps it's best or a better option to go with mechanical because mechanical will give you that broad background and versatility when it comes to finding jobs. The reason I'm saying that is because I have a friend who got a, a, a PhD in mechanical with aerospace concentration, but he was not able to get jobs because he didn't have a citizenship. And so it was hard for him to get hired because you have to get a clearance. And in order to get a clearance, you need to be a citizen. So. Bottom line, you want to become an aerospace engineer, go for it. And uh, for everybody else, if you're not sure about aerospace, go with mechanical and then specialize in aerospace engineering. I think they're both great fields, to be honest. And uh, aerospace just sounds cooler, right? But I like mechanical better just because it's a lot more versatile. It's not as niche as aerospace.